What's going on YouTube? So today we're gonna to be talking about the Western Digital Elements and also the easy share that you get at Best Buy hard drives from Western Digital. So you decided to pick up these drives because they're so much cheaper than actually buying the red drives. These are actually the white label drives that Western Digital puts in their external hard drives. They're much cheaper. Uh, I picked this up for about $160 for 10 terabytes. Uh, I'll link it in the description below. I also link Western Digital's easy share that Best Buy shares or actually sells in the description below as well, but they're both about the same. Both uh, usually have the same drives in them too. So now that you've taken them apart, it'll look like this. I'm not gonna actually show you the video of how to take this apart. There are quite a few videos on the internet or on YouTube that'll actually show you how to do it. It's pretty easy. Uh, just be careful when you're doing it that you don't actually shove your knife or your flathead like I almost did and ruin the actual control board itself. I actually scuffed the green part of the control board and thankfully it's actually still working. So the problem that you run into and the reason why you're probably on this video is once you shucked your hard drive and you hooked it up to your computer and took their old power supply off of it, the USB or the actual old, their power supply that they come with, it doesn't power up in your actual computer. And the reason why this is, is because for whatever reason, Western Digital decided to use a 3.3 volt pin on the actual control board. Um, and for some reason, I guess it either puts on the, the hard drive in a boot loop or it doesn't even get powered. Thankfully, we have a solution for this. So once you get your hard drive out and it's ready and free and clear, you're gonna take the hard drive and on the power supply part of it, you're gonna be taping with electrical tape on the third pin from the left. This is the 3.3 volt pin that we need to be having the power supply ignore for in order for this to work. So what you're gonna do is take electrical tape and then you're gonna cut a very thin slice, just enough to cover up that third pin. You can cover up more than the third pin, but only to the left. So you'll cut that tape. If you cover up any of the first three, you're fine. Um, so if you make it a little bit bigger, it's fine, but you can't cover up the fourth pin. If you cover up the fourth pin, you got problems. So I'm gonna use my knife here and make sure it's pressed down pretty good. Uh, 3M electrical tape is probably the best for this. Uh, any electrical tape will work just fine. I just find electrical tape wise, 3M is the best when I actually use electrical devices or tape up electrical devices. And then I'll cut the excess off here. So it doesn't need to be taped underneath. And once you're done with that, then you are good to go. You can actually get it into your computer and plug in the power supply. When you plug in the power supply, just make sure it doesn't remove the tape itself because if it does, then it won't work. But other than that, as long as you have the third pin from the left taped all the way, uh, then you're good to go. If you have any of the fourth taped up, that's bad. So just make sure that uh, the third and last third second, uh, first, second, third pen can be all taped up if you want. Other than that, that you're good to go. If you have any further questions, please leave them in the comments below. I'd be happy to answer them for you. Uh, like I said, the links will be in the description for this hard drive as well as the 12 terabyte. Usually they're about 180 now. And you can also get them at Best Buy for the easy share versions as well. I'll link that in the description below. If this is your first time to my channel, please consider subscribing. And other than that, I will see you next time.